Lights. Camera. Action. Hey, all you hot people out there, hot violinists and friends. A quick lunch break video here for two main things that I was thinking of that I wanted to share with you guys. Just got finished with lunch. I had a delicious pokey salad. Actually, I have some, some footage of that because I'm one of those uh, really awkward people who takes pictures of my food. And here in my hat to head out for a walk, got my little sun protection. Who am I kidding? I didn't want to fix my hair for the video, so throw on the hat. All right, starting out with some truth there for you. Okay, so now to the, to the two main reasons that I wanted to talk to you guys today. I'm going to be introducing you to my fish blub blub. A couple of other things of interest here in the shelving unit. This is baseball that my dad caught at a Dodgers Mets game. And a couple things down here. I swear the people on my email list do the most interesting things. This is Ray O. He actually survived in the Alaskan wilderness. And then that's a book about a Stradivari violin that's 300 years old. But anyway, yeah, so now that we've settled in, I want you guys to meet Blub Blub because he is a little fishy that needs your prayers. Look, isn't he cute? Sorry I had fish for lunch, Blub Blub. Sorry if that makes it awkward. I'm hoping that you guys will join me praying for Blub Blub because he has a nasty tail fungus. I don't know if you can see, but his middle tail used to be a lot fluffier than that. Um, so the reason his water is green is that he is undergoing a treatment in the water. That was thing number one. Thank you very much if you can help me out by sending Blub Love your well wishes. So thing number two was that last weekend on Sunday when I went to clean out his bowl and put in this fungus treatment, I ended up feeling so happy ever since then. And I don't think that it's actually because of it increasing Blub Love's chances of survival. Sadly, I know that's really bad to say. Do me a favor and don't send this video to PETA. You know, last week his tail was looking horrible, his tank was dirty, my dad came to visit and was like, is your fish okay? I felt like a horrible person and I had even considered him setting him free at the Japanese gardens where he probably would have been eaten by a koi fish and I was justifying it to myself that Blub Blub maybe secretly wanted a warrior's death, which I don't think he does. Look how much energy he has now. He's alive and kicking. So the reason I think that it made me so happy to take the, about 25 minutes to clean Blub Blub's tank and treat it was that I had changed what I was thinking in my head from, I don't have time to take care of this fish to I have time to take care of Blub Blub. I have time. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, you know, I think this is, works really well for violin learning. Anything you want to do, we could all at any time say, I don't have time. So instead, if you just kind of flip that over to saying, I have time to blank, I have time, then I think it's like a very freeing idea. So I wanted to share that with you guys. If violin is indeed the thing that you want to make time for in 2018, my program for learning in five minutes a day is going to be open for enrollment in a couple of weeks. And if you want to be among the first to get in and get the initial bonuses and everything, um, sign up for my email list. So go to thehotviolinist.com, sign up for email um, newsletter updates. There's things that I share there that I don't share anywhere else. You know, you'll get updates on Blub Blub's health and fungus treatment. So wish me luck with this fishy. Okay, see you guys. One more thing, I thought I should play Blub Blub a get well tune. And he likes gypsy music the best.